Let A and B be sets. I'm going to show that the symmetric difference of A and the empty set is equal to the set A, and then the symmetric difference of A and B is equal to the symmetric difference of B and A. So I'll start by looking at uh, the first question there, the symmetric difference of A and the empty set. To do this, I will look at uh, the definition of uh, the symmetric difference. For the symmetric difference of sets A and B is equal to the set difference of A and B, the union, the set difference of B and A. So I will write my left hand side there, the symmetric difference of A and the empty set. So using this formula here, where we are having B, we put the empty set so that we have the difference of A and the empty set, the union, the difference of the empty set and the set A. So we will now go on and look at what is in the parenthesis there. So to look at what is in the parenthesis, we look at uh, the definition of set difference. And the set difference of A and uh, the empty set is equal to the set with elements X, such that X is in A and X is not in the empty set. And the difference of the empty set and uh, the A here is uh, the set with elements X that are in the empty set and not in the set A. So this part here gives us A and this part here gives us the empty set. So we would have A union of the empty set. And then we will now go on and uh, use our uh, set laws. We know that uh, the union of a set and the empty set gives us the set itself. So this union here simplifies to the set A. So that is equal to A. So what you have shown there is that uh, the symmetric difference of A and the empty set is equal to the set A. I now move on to the second question, the symmetric difference of A and B. So I'll start by writing the left-hand side there, the symmetric difference of A and B. And by definition, that's uh, the set difference of A and B union of the set difference of B and A. So I can write that to be my right-hand side. Then go on and look at uh, the commutative law. The commutative law, if we have two sets A and B, then A union B is equals to B union A. So this commutative law allows us to rewrite this expression by starting by the set difference of B and A. So we have the set difference of B and A, the union, the set difference of A and B. But by using the definition of the symmetric difference here, we see that this part here that's the symmetric difference of B and A. So we can go on and write that. This is the symmetric difference of B and A. So we have uh, shown what was required.